I went out just looking for garage sales after we went to the markets today and I'd almost given up on finding anything but then I came across this garage sale and man the stuff that I got for the price that I got it for I'm super excited check this out How much you got on him? 60. 60. Fair enough too. Uh, Hello. Hi. How much is that one? 50. 50. Yeah. How much is the Wii? 50. 50 as well? What's the Super Nintendo game you got there? Oh, well, I'm lying to me. Oh. I got it for free from my uncle. Really? Yeah. How much do you want for it? Uh, 10 bucks. Sure. What did you get? Nice. The game that no one's ever finished. Yeah, because no one can get past the second level. Yep. <laughs> you ever played it, Oliver? Uh, I tested it with my uh, Sinesa at home. Yeah. My dad tried playing it. Too hard? Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. No one's ever got past that second level. The can't wait to be king. My dad can't even finish the first level. <laughs> yeah, Jazz will be keen to go through all these. Hey. So each. I'll go that four bucks. Go for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got an Xbox One, don't you? Yeah. Hmm. No. <laughs> but that's, that's very tempting. <laughs> Milk caps. Oh, I remember that. I don't remember what we did, but I remember that picture. Yeah. No, actually, Charles, I, was, I don't need to buy anymore. Did you see um, Redneck Rampage? No, you haven't got that far. Oh, wow. Amazing. Yours? I do add, but um, I've added a few uh, Xbox. I think you looked at it last time. We're 5 each, those ones. Yeah, thank you. If that was the big box. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> big surprise, Julian isn't here again, but I've got special guests. I've got Jazz back, and we're joined by Hack the Dino's very own Floppy. Hello, everyone. So we're going to go through what we got at the Paraka Farmers Markets. I'm pointing over there so you know which direction it's in. And uh, then we're going to, I don't know, go off by myself and find some cool stuff because Julian has better things in to do than speak properly, like me. And I gotta work. And Floppy has to work. I have to work. All right, so what I got? I got a Rebel Assault. Now, I've seen this a couple of times. I uh, didn't realize it was a sampler, so basically shareware. Uh, yeah. yeah, pretty much. It was like demo discs. Um, Pretty good condition. Uh, and coming, man, Dark Forces. I would love a shareware version of Dark Forces. Dark Forces is amazing. Uh, that's pretty cool. I also got from Oliver for 10 bucks, although I'm gonna look at the footage because I'm pretty sure he said 20 and then gave me 10 change. But still, thank you, Oliver. Appreciate it. A game that I'll never finish because it's too hard. Or get past level two because it's too hard. And I bought more Tarzos. I enabled him. I, I probably don't need any of these. Um, hopefully they've got the one that I do need, like the Star Wars silver ones, and 
I'm not going to need any. I can tell you now, I'm going to go through them all and not need any of them. That's cool that it comes in that case. Well, like I like that. that it's still got the thing on it, so I might yeah. keep it. I don't know. I'm not sure. I anyway. really like it. That's amazing, Ben. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I found it myself. Uh, Floppy, what did you get? I got Die Hard Vendetta because I do love a good Die Hard game, even though none of them. Why have you got that one good. then? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, sorry. I do love a Die Hard game. There are no good ones. I also picked up. What I thought was a PS4 copy of uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, which is awesome. For four bucks. For four bucks. But it's the Xbox One one. <laughs> That's right, I have four one bucks. of them too. Four bucks, four I bucks. can't complain. Have you played that? Uh, i played a little bit of it. It's very fucking hard. So, uh, I'm going to go, are you going to come down to Port Nalunga with me, Jazz? Yeah. Yeah? Jazz is going to come down to Port Nalunga. You're going to go to work. I'm going to go to work and be a chump. But you can see Floppy at Hack the Dino Gaming Cast. Go to hackthedino.com and can. Floppy's there. Bye, Floppy. I'll be the guy that looks like this. Okay, so here's what I got from that garage sale. Let's take a look in here. Like, these boxes, I've got two of these boxes. Um, apart from something that's in the second box, uh, the lady just said, 10 bucks each. And I saw a couple of things and automatically went, yep, bargain, we grab that. So we got, uh, I think that, yep, that is maybe a street shark, obviously missing something. Um, we got another street shark, one of the rollerblade ones, he's missing some wheels maybe, no. Uh, we got another street shark, the one with the jaws. Uh, we got another street shark. We got another street shark. We got another street shark. What else is in here? Oh yeah, look, it's another street shark. And then we got, oh, just another street shark. And then top it off, oh, there's another street shark in there. Um, then what have we got in here? I think it's a rock lord, maybe. Oh, hang on, sorry. We got another street shark in there. Um, yep, definitely rock lords. So a couple of rock lords, and then a whole bunch of wrestling figures. This uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, for some reason, they decided to draw hair on him. Uh, we've got a, uh, I think that's a Triple H. Just, yeah, a whole heap of street sharks and wrestling figures. So that was 10 bucks. Okay, I'll show you what was on top. They bought out, again, I asked the magic words, do you have any video games? Uh, they bought out Godzilla, which I got for five bucks. Really good condition. Also got this. They even powered it up for me there to make sure it was working. It was being out in their shed, so it's a bit dusty, a little bit yellow, not the best, but it did power up fine. I think I did hear a disc in there, so I'm just going to pop it open now, and we can see what's in the GameCube. All right, here we go. Bum, ba da da dum Oops, that was the wrong button. We'll go again. Bump, ba da da dum No, there's nothing in there. Still, GameCube. I paid, I think, 30 bucks for that. Came with the AVs, which is always a good time, and a third-party controller, which, uh, you know, not the greatest. It's uh, Game Sun. So, what do we get in this box that I grabbed for $10? It's, this one was, a, again, a bit of a bits and pieces. Uh, I grabbed it primarily because I saw this dude on top. Uh, 1989 Ninja Turtles. No weapons, but Ninja Turtles. So I thought that for 10 bucks, I'll take the chance, see what else is in there. Turns out, some of you may recognize this guy. Uh, Small Soldiers. I forgot his name because I've never seen the movie. Julian will hate me for that because it's one of his favorite movies. But I got him in there as well. I think this is uh, Beast Wars. Oh, it's cool. So Werewolf, where are you from? You are from... BBC. I reckon this is Doctor Who. Doctor Who Werewolf. Oh, wow. This is Tombstone from the uh, 90s Spider-Man animated series. Yeah, Tombstone. Oh, he flexes. Uh, another Beast War? Yeah. This one looks like he's complete. And, oh, look, it's Rose. Hello, Rose. Billy Tyler. Uh, Bill, Billy, Billy, Billy Tyler? Billy. I don't know. It's Rose. And, of course, I got this for $5. So that will be very useful for completing a fire red or leaf green set when I need to.
calcium, so the lawyer and Glenn tried to test each other. They can't do it, Glenn's too fat. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Can't be done. Mm. So I don't know what's going on. But um, if, if they drop it, Glenn can see it. Mm. Because... Weirdo. Mm. So we're all done at the uh, Port Nolunga markets for another week. Jess, what did you get? Today I got this is dinner plastic. It was this X Men animated series that explodes onto DVD. It explodes. Still in the packet. Well, don't unwrap it. It might explode. <laughs> I got Titan AE. Very nice. Because it's animated. Berserk. Um, I'm probably a bit too vanilla for this. And then I got District 9, which is, I haven't seen this, but I got it for design reasons, because I Because you're an artist. Well, yes, and I'm a fan of a one of the concept artists from this film. Oh, so. cool. I didn't get a lot. I got a couple of uh, Wii nunchucks and Wii classic controllers, which you can never have enough of. Baby from Dinosaurs. He was 50 cents, so I thought, eh, why not? Nice little, little bit yellow, but a G1 Transformer. I've forgotten his name, but... Uh, can you just call him G1 Transformer? Yeah. Why did they have to call it a Wii? It's supposed to be Wii as in we play and we have fun together and we play together. Right. But the best bit is, you look at, I don't have one on me, but if you look on the back of one of your Wiimotes, um, so on the back of the Wii, the, the product uh, number is W-I-I -I and then some numbers. And you look on the back of the Wiimote, it's P-0-0. Zero zero. And then, true story, ah, have a look, have a look. Okay. Have a look on the back of your Wiimotes. Yeah, I disagree it's with all, uh, the naming we and poo. of these things anyway. Sorry, sorry, just, just, I know, one more thing. I just wanted to share what else I got today. So while not bargains, I did pick up two early X-Men or issues of Uncanny X-Men. Uh, I now have 106 issues left before I own the whole set of Uncanny X-Men. And then I called into an op shop, a Salvos of all places, and we all know Salvos aren't known for the best deals. But I did manage to get Earthworm Jim for less than half of what it goes for. And I got... I really have to remember to take my camera with me when I go into the city because you never know when I'm going to find awesome stuff like this. I, that's it for today. I promise. I've spent too much money. No more. For real. This, this, we're done. We're done.